Welcome to video three. <laughs> Welcome to video three. This is six months to six figures with copywriting. I'm Sarah Turner, and this video is all about building your business. All right, so to be able to charge $200 a blog, you're gonna need to bring maximum value to your work. I'm all about bringing maximum value to my services because that way when clients see your work, they think, oh wow, this is totally worth what she's charging. They feel good, I feel good, and everybody's happy. So how do you make sure you're bringing high value work to the table? Um, so professionalism, professionalism to your core. In every email, every phone call, you just need to live and breathe it. You are a business owner. You're not some freelancer looking for a next gig, all right? And I'm gonna continue to say that because I think that is the difference in the world. It makes a world of difference, right, if you're a business owner. As a copywriter, your number one job is to solve problems. You're solving other people's problems with your writing. And so not only should this be conveyed in your writing for your clients, it should also be conveyed in how you deal with your clients. You should always be putting yourself in other people's shoes and thinking about how you can help them. All right, now that I got that out of the way, because I can definitely go on and on about that, here are the seven steps to building your copywriting business. And remember, you can always revisit this video as you go through each. All right, pick a niche, study copy, learn copywriting basics, and start writing. Learn SEO basics, build a website, and then make yourself valuable and continue to make yourself valuable. All right, so let's break this down. Number one, pick a niche. You must pick a niche. This is gonna help you in four ways. One, you have a clear audience and can find your ideal client better. Two, you become an expert, which makes your writing better because not only do you know the audience, but you know the content. Three, you'll be faster at writing the content because you already have a baseline knowledge. Four, because you, you can charge more because you're gonna be the go-to person on that subject. So how do you find a niche? Consider these questions. What do you love to learn about? What do people ask you about? What could you talk about all day? What is a unique subject you know a lot about? And what niches are profitable? Poke around online and read about other people's experiences in certain niches. Your niche, niche could also be a specific type of copy, such as white papers and emails, and you might discover this later on after you've been writing for a little bit. Picking a niche doesn't mean you're stuck with it for life. You can always change this later on, but without it, your business doesn't have focus and you're more likely to get distracted and pulled in too many directions. All right, find a respected authority in your niche and start examining their content. A common exercise seasoned copywriters give new copywriters is to hand copy some of the best copywriting examples in history. So, writing something by hand is much different than typing it because it forces you to slow down and really take things in. Studies also suggest that handwriting helps with better retention. So before you get started writing your own content, it's a good idea to hand copy a few pieces of experts' work in your field pay attention to their technique and styles. And when you do this, you'll notice pretty quickly that copywriting isn't like it was taught to you in school at all. You'll also pick up on how you can use grammar to enhance your writing so it looks more like how people talk. Hand copying Gary Halbert letters is a good idea. He is considered one of the best copywriters in the world, ever. You can find his letters at www.thegaryhalbertletter.com. Learn copywriting basics. All right, I wanna quickly address a question I get asked a lot. Why copywriting? Why not content writing? In my opinion, content writing is a total waste of time for the writer and for the client. We live in a time where we are bombarded with content, like totally bombarded. And if you don't have some basic psychology and SEO built into your writing, it will get lost in the noise. So this is why you should start familiarizing yourself with the copywriting basics and why you should become a copywriter instead of a content writer. When you're writing good copy, you should be doing one of the following for your audience, including your clients when you're writing to your clients. You should be encouraging their dreams, confirming their suspicions, calming their fears, 
validating their failures, and throwing rocks at their enemies. These five rules come from Blair Warren, who's another great resource on copywriting. Using psychology and copywriting can be powerful, so it shouldn't be used irresponsibly. We've all fallen into a clickbait trap before. Clickbait are pieces specifically designed to get more clicks and more often than not, but not always, are fear-based. Like nine shocking ways to know that he's cheating on you. You won't believe number seven. You do not need to spread fear to be a good copywriter. In fact, I'd argue you shouldn't spread unjustified fear and we could all use a little less of that in our lives today. All right, enough of that. <laughs> all right, the next step is to start writing. If you're worried about whether or not you need to be an expert right off the bat in your niche, you don't. You just need to be willing to research a subject. When you get started on a topic you don't know much about, it will take you a little longer to write and that's why you need to pick a niche. So here's how you can start writing. Reach out to a successful copywriter persuasively, remembering in your email that this is a chance to show off your skills through use, not telling them you're a good copywriter. And keep their pain points in mind. Offer to take some work off their hands at an affordable price but don't do anything for free because it diminishes your value in your client's mind. This is also great because you'll get a copywriter's feedback. Use your contacts. Know anyone in the world of marketing? Reach out, ask for their advice, and offer to write for them. If they're a web developer, that is golden. Web developers always need more copy. Find a local content-based marketing agency. Being local helps because people like that you're around. Just offer to write a few good pieces at a good price. A local business. Reach out to people in your niche who could use some content for their website. Job boards. Careful here, these are a good place to start when you need practice, but people can end up spending way too much time for very little money here. But just to get started, my three favorite are Pro Blogger, Blogging Pro, and Contenta. You can also publish a piece on a platform like Medium. Make sure that you have people look at your work first and give you feedback. All right, learning SEO basics. As a copywriter, you need to know about SEO, but you don't need to go down a rabbit hole here. Though the more you know, the more valuable you make yourself. Quick background on SEO. It stands for search engine optimization, which is a process that helps websites rank in Google. So they come up at the top of a search a few things that can help your articles rank in Google include fee, uh, keyword use, formatting, article length, and quality. Here's something you need to know about SEO that took me a really long time to figure out. No one knows exactly how Google ranks things. So everything you read about SEO are people trying to figure out how it ranks things. But there are people who are doing a very good job at figuring this out. And without SEO knowledge, your content is less valuable, so take some time to familiarize yourself with this. Good resources on SEO include Moz, Neil Patel, and Backlinko. All right, up next you're going to build a website, and you need a very professional looking website. And this should include copy directed at your ideal client with their pain points. It's a showcase for your, a few good port, port, portfolio pieces, but your copy's gonna do most of the heavy lifting. There are plenty of tools out there for making a high quality website. I recommend Squarespace. Do not spend too much time on your website. When you're writing your website, remember you are a copywriter, so your copy should be all about your client's pain points. Less about you and more about how you can help them. Make yourself valuable. Continue to make yourself valuable by digging into your niche, get cozy, really own it, practice copywriting techniques, set aside 30 minutes a day to improving your skills, and actually writing and getting feedback. Learning SEO and then invest in yourself. Take courses, read books, continue to invest in yourself. So break up each of these skills and devote between 10 and 30 minutes to them each day and you will improve tremendously. 30 minutes a day is 14 hours of work a month. That is amazing. You can do so much when you break things up into little 30 minute increments. It has actually saved my life to think of it as little baby steps all along the way.
All right, that was a beast. So up next, we're gonna talk about building your client base. And we're gonna do that with cold emailing. See you soon.